Hello, kings and queens, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in the continent, and to those who are in the diaspora, you're most welcome. Uh, today, I want to share uh, this good news from Botswana. The new president of Botswana has started with uh, diamond. You know very well that Botswana is the main producer of diamond in the world and has good diamond. So, the new president has said that he wants to see um, Botswana is benefiting from um it's diamond and want to see uh, the share of uh, diamond sales to increase up to 50% uh, in the coming decades. Uh, the new president of Botswana, Mr. Duma Boko, said that uh, last week he wanted to conclude talks for a new sales pact with global diamond giant, the beers, as soon as possible. The beers a unit of mining, mining Anglo-American last year agreed a new uh, diamond sales pact, which would see the government's share of diamond from the Debswana joint ventures uh, gradually increase to 50% over the next decades. Uh, Debswana Diamond Company equally owned by Botswana, the government of Botswana, and the beers the Anglo Anglo American company currently sells fifty, I mean seventy five percent of its output to the beers. So uh, the new president want uh, the country Botswana to benefit from uh, the sales of diamond. You know, uh, this is the reality that in the continent of Africa you find that we have these minerals, but these minerals are not owned by Africans, and only Africans only get few percent. You find that, uh, for instance, I remember by the year 2016, uh, when the late president of Tanzania, uh, Dr. Magufuli, came to power, he found that Tanzania is benefiting 1% of its uh, minerals from Acacia. Uh, that is an American, I mean, Canadian company. So you see that we have minerals, but we benefit only 1%. So, and that's why you see that the new president of Botswana wants the uh, sales or the benefits of uh, the sales of diamond uh, to increase by 50%. It means the profit uh, to increase by 50% to the government of Botswana instead of getting little or small percent. You know, this um, pact that we have been signed in the previous always are there to undermine our governments or our countries. You find that we have minerals, but these minerals are not owned by Africans. So if it's not owned by Africans, it means Africans will get a few amount. And of course, and this is what um, I've been asking to our readers and many Africans that so the time has come for we, the people of Africa, to sit down, to come together and to ask ourselves, what are we benefiting from our resources? And how are we going to benefit from these uh, minerals? We have minerals, but who is beneficiaries of our minerals? You find that others are the beneficiaries of our minerals. Have you asked who is benefiting from the minerals from the Democratic Republic of Congo? You find that many of these smartphones and electronic devices that we have in the world, the resources are coming from Africa, especially in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But if Africans, we can arrange ourselves properly, we can start producing our own uh, smartphones, our own computers, our own uh, electronic devices, instead of um, exporting our resources into law forms. And that's why you see the new president of uh, Botswana has started with um, diamond, so we must benefit from diamond. And of course, I think this is what we have been asking for many uh, years, that Africans, we need to make sure that we benefit from our sources. Um, the previous generation, they have done their jobs, but one of the worst things they, are, they did is to give these resources into the hands of uh, our former colonizers. They have been cheated that these uh, companies are coming to Africa to provide jobs, to create opportunities, but the reality is they are here to exploit our resources. Let us give these resources 
to Africans. Let us find Africans in the continent collaborating with those who are in the diaspora to make sure that we are going to add value to our resources. And that's why I have been suggesting that we need to have African diaspora or Africa diaspora summit where we are going to discuss how are we going to benefit from our resources? How are we going to make sure that we produce our own smartphones? How are we going to make sure that we are going to produce our own cars from our resources that we have? How are we going to make sure that we have enough electricity from Ingadam, from our uranium? We have a huge deposit of uranium in our mother continent, Africa. But the uranium that are in the continent are not benefiting the people of Africa. Those who are outside of the continent are those who are benefiting from these resources. I've seen the Chinese are here, Europeans are here, Americans are here, Russians are here. Every civilization are here to find these resources. But what about Africans? So kings and queens, this is the wake up time. This is the wake up call to all of us to stand up and to say enough is enough. We have Africans, intellectual, um, in creative that can add value to these minerals. So kings and queens, those are just an update from Botswana. Let us continue uh, to explore some information from our mother country, Africa. So kings and queens, make sure that you share with us uh, your opinions through the comment section. With those few updates, let me say thank you. See you next time. Thank you.